you can see on the GoPro, we've got Trav up the front in auto mode. He's no hands, stand up the front, absolutely easy. As soon as you put it back in manual mode, Trav looks like an octopus in a blender up the front. It's a weapon of a boat. And uh, with Ride on here, it really lets you push it to its absolute maximum. Now the guys who brought us the Seakeeper Gyro have another very clever tool. This one is called Ride. Now this is not a fancy trim tab system. Don't let them hear you calling it a trim tab system. This is a vessel attitude control system. Obviously Ride was just a lot easier to remember. And VAX as an acronym, that, that sounds shit as well. So this is the Veach 23 center console and it's hull number three. So it's one of the ones with the, uh, the super steep 27 degree of dead rise. And this boat without rides originally was a bit of a handful. And by adding rides, we've really turned this into a boat that we can just put, any, put anyone in. Um, you can jump in, leave, leave ride in auto mode and you can drive it and push it hard. Um, if you turn ride off, uh, hold on. The secret to the Seakeeper ride system is how fast it can move. So we can take a thousand measurements per second in all directions, so roll, pitch, and yaw. And then from that, we can make some calculations and work out what adjustments we need to do on the controllers, and we can do a hundred adjustments in a second. So in terms of the system, it's really simple. Up the front, under the dash, we've got an inertia control unit, and that's measuring exactly what the boat's doing. That's sending a signal through one wire from the front of the boat to the back of the boat to a little distribution block, and that just sends power to each actuator and tells those actuators what to do. Really simple. So the first thing you need is you need a flat surface on the transport pretty close to, uh, and then we actually bond it to the hull. So we use a product called a methyl methacrylate. Uh, it's three times stronger than bolting. So your Seakeeper ride system is all interface through your MFD. Works with Simrad, Garmin, Raymarine, Furuno. Most of the time you're not gonna have this page up, but if you do wanna make some minor adjustments while you're running, you absolutely can. So the middle button is your auto and manual mode. Just by pressing that, you can put it in manual, run it like normal tabs or put it back into auto. So when it's in auto mode, you don't actually see on the screen what your tabs are doing, but if you have a look over the back of the boat, you're gonna see the rooster tails from each of your controllers throwing up some sprays of water. You'll notice that if both of the, uh, the controllers go at the same time, you see two rooster tails, that's it controlling your pitch. And if you only see one, that's it controlling your roll. The actuators work so fast, you're not gonna see anything. The only way you're gonna be able to notice is by looking at that, the water out the back of the boat. Trimming a boat properly is not an easy skill to master, and this takes all the guesswork out of it. So from an experienced boatie to a first timer, the easiest thing with this is it's auto mode, set and forget. If you wanna make some minor adjustments, you still can, but in auto mode, this is gonna give you the absolute optimal running angle of your boat in any direction. With our system, by the time you've hit one wave and it's it's corrected for that wave and you come down the back of it, it's already correcting for the, for the drop off the back of the wave and then up the next one. On any other control system, by the time the boat's rolled four degrees and the plate or the tab has moved to try and correct that, you've already hit three more waves. So by that stage, the boat could have rolled the other way and it's then just playing catch up. Everything on this is working 16 times faster than our nearest competitor. So that's naturally gonna mean much faster hole shot, better performance, uh, and decrease drag. So the biggest thing that ride's gonna give you is increased comfort in the boat. It's gonna increase your maximum cruising speed. So what we're finding on the boats we've installed already is we're lifting that cruise speed from 22, 24 knots in terms of comfortability to being able to run home at 30, 32 knots in even more comfort than you were sitting on a lower speed. So it increases fuel efficiency, increases comfort and increases safety. So ride was developed to provide up to 70% pitch and roll reduction. And that's what we're looking to achieve with these on the beach. So if you want to run with a little bit of bow down, you press the up button and the graphic on the screen shows the boat's nose coming down and you can do the same thing, port to starboard and roll the boat either way. Okay, talk to me about hole shot. What's going to happen? So 
So from whole shot, we've got a trim command curve, so we can customize for every boat uh, and improve your whole shot. Because we can move the controller so quickly from acceleration, we can deploy the, deploy the controllers really quickly, get you up on the plane much, much faster, and then we can get those controllers back up out of the water so that we're not hindering performance as you're trying to take off. So with ride switched on, you'll notice that we can actually take our turns a lot harder and it can really power in through your turns. Uh, the ride actuators will do a coordinated turn and keep the boat as level as possible through the turn, enabling you to really power into them. Another practical question, what happens if we're driving along, it's piss calm in a straight line and everybody goes to one side of the boat? So in that situation, Within a split second, the rides have already picked up that the inertia has changed and you both started moving to one side. So it's gonna drop the, drop the tab to correct that list and stop the boat even rolling before it even happens. All right, you, you mentioned this inertia. Is this the same principle the gyro works on? It's a rate of acceleration, exactly the same thing as what's happening in our gyros. So it needs something to happen for an yeah. equal and opposite reaction here. The biggest With apologies to uh, Newton. The biggest difference with this system compared to all the others out there is ours is preventative, not reactionary. So every other system is trying to react to roll, we're preventing it. So we're at the pointy end of the beach and uh, one of the most important things on any boat, whether it's a deep V hull like this or even a tinny or a plate boat is uh, Using, the, using this deep V section of the, of the bow. And one of the feelings that most people will have felt out in any boat is if you come down not using your V and you come down on, on either side of the bow, you get that shuddering feeling through a glass boat or you're gonna get a bang on a tinny or a plate boat. So what we've got with Ride is the ability to keep that boat landing in the water dead straight every time and using that V, which is gonna get you the softest ride possible. Sea Keeper is obviously well known for gyros. How does ride work in conjunction with a gyro system? Good question. They work really well together. If you're running a gyro in conjunction with ride, you can expect about 20% better performance underway than just a ride system on its own. Uh, obviously ride only works whilst underway. Gyro works at rest and underway. So if, if you had to choose between ride or gyro, what, what, where would your money be at? If you choose both, you always take both. Uh, but Ride as a entry level product uh, for much smaller boats at a much cheaper entry level price is really gonna change your boating experience. So we're on the Veach 23 console, the deep V edition, 27 degrees of dead rise. It's not my first time on a Veach, but it is my first time on a Veach with Ride or fitted with Ride. Uh, I haven't engaged Ride yet. Chris has been waiting for the right sea state and he summoned me aboard. So this is, I wanted to get my first reaction to, um, to riding the beach with, with ride on. So we're gonna get up to a 30, 30 knots yeah. down sea, what it is, a half, half a metre sea with a bit of shit on top, and a bit of, bit of swell on it. Okay, it's 33 knots and that's bonus trims. Me. Okay, ride, ride me up. Yeah. Okay, that's that's not fair. That's pretty good. Show me. I'm, I'm sold. Nick, get the checkbook. So first reaction, Nick, our cameraman, has decided he's never going on a boat without ride. He was mightily impressed, but it's almost not fair. It took me about, I don't know, a good minute of trim fuckery on the motors to try and sort of level things out. And we had it, uh, I would say the ride comfort was, uh, I don't know, seven out of 10, six and a half out of 10. And we went like literally st straight to about nine out of 10 at the press of a button. So mate, she's pretty, she's pretty true to the promise, Chris. That's some pretty impressive gear. And it didn't feel like it was forcing itself into the wave or out of the wave, it just felt like a very natural, linear motion. 
So we put our science coats on and we did a very highly uh, scientific captain test earlier. We put the Coke bottle up on the dash and uh, in auto mode, you'll see the Coke bottle didn't move. Put it back into manual and uh, she falls over every time. So you would have seen today, we had that perfect scenario running up here this morning where at uh, 25 knots, the bow was just moving around a fair bit and it was a bit of an uncomfortable ride. And by switching Seakeeper ride on, we were able to just flatten out the ride. Uh, it's a lot more comfortable, smoother. And we were able to push that cruise speed up around that 35, 36 knot mark. And, uh, and it just became a hell of a lot more comfortable. Consequently, that gives you the ability to focus on other things like your sounder, like your throttle, like the kids down the back of the boat or whatever's coming up ahead of you. So this system's gonna suit a huge range of boats. Obviously, works brilliantly on the beach with a really super deep V. Uh, same thing with any, any of your other big fiberglass, deep V hulls, but it's gonna travel through, all the way through to your plate boats. Uh, even your small aluminium boats with much flatter dead rise, you're gonna have a huge uh, amount of pitch control and it's gonna make those boats a lot smoother, nicer, safer to run. Anything from commercial operators uh, to high performance boaties who want that little bit extra out of their boat who just want to focus on, on driving and throttle, uh, right through to first time boaties who just want something that's going to make life simple. So this boat's running the Seakeeper Ride 450s. Uh, this will do up to 26 foot hulls. We then do a 525, which will do up to 30 feet, and then a 600, which will do up to 35 feet boats. So a set of these will set you back just under eight grand. The next size up, which will do a 30 foot boat, you're looking at 11,200. Then if you want the big, one, the big ones for a 35 footer, you're talking 18 grand. Seakeeper wouldn't release something unless it was a wow. It, and it's gotta have wow factor, and that's what we're guaranteeing. You put this on your boat, you're gonna get wow factor. Define wow factor. If you want the best riding boat you, your boat can be, it's gotta have ride.